the Nurses Union has put a new pay offer from district health boards to its members to vote on amid a protracted pay dispute. Nurses have been at an impasse with DHBs for months over pay and working conditions and have a 24-hour strike planned for the 12th of July. That's next week, of course. On Friday, the union called off another strike, which was scheduled for this Thursday because they received a new offer from the DHBs. It was a good faith response from the union. They put that to their members today. And a health reporter, Nita Blake, person who's been doing a great job covering this for us, joins us now live in the studio. Nita, thank you for being back. You were here on Friday. You. You're here again tonight. We're very grateful. What has changed in this offer because remember of course the first offer the nurses rejected it unequivocally and voted to strike what's changed well so the main changes to be fair there's not a huge difference but the main changes around the divvying of the pay increases and the timing of how they're rolled out so the last offer that one the nurses strongly rejected included pay increases of between 9 and 15 percent depending on their experience and they were going to be rolled out over 15 to 18 months so this new offer bumps up the minimum increase from 9% to 12.5%, but it's now going to take longer for that to be implemented up to 25 months. So August 2020, it could be before some of these nurses are getting the pay increase. That was the number one issue that the nurses felt w w w was wrong, was flawed in the first offer, right, that they voted to strike on, and that was that there was real inequity about who was receiving what from within the ranks of the union. That's right. The nurses at the higher, more experienced end of the pay scale stood to benefit the most, but the junior nurses, the healthcare assistants, they were getting a 9% increase, which they just thought didn't cut it at all. So that was the main feedback that nurses said, this has got to be rolled out more fairly. It has dragged that up. However, it's come at a cost. Senior nurses now have to wait a much longer time to get their full pay. Why is the union recommending this offer? And I'd like to ask the union that, but they weren't available to talk to us tonight. I think they don't actually want to tempt fate. I think they just want to leave their members to decide this without kind of undue influence via interviews in the media. Why do you think the union is recommending this? Uh, so, well, they've said that it does address that key concern, which was the equity. Is It's dragged that out for all the members. They also say that it addresses the historical undervaluing of nurses and, and midwives um, and that, you know, the pay increase is above general wage increases. But in terms of dealing with staffing shortages, which was another major yeah. concern here, other than a change in some wording and some stronger commitments from DHBs that they will look at, you know, making sure, that, uh, immediately recruiting to cover the 500 full-time equivalent staff that they've said that they'll put into place and covering sh staffing shortfalls. It's a change in words, but there's not much else. So as far as you have been able to see in the few hours since we've known what this offer is, what's the responses from nurses been? A lot are really disappointed, to say the least. They were hanging out for a better offer. Um, and those I've spoken to just say, it's not better at all, that this is a rejigging of what was on the table. We didn't expect any more money, to be fair. The, the government and DHPs made it abundantly clear that this was what was there. Um, but some were really looking forward to striking. They wanted to highlight their, their pay uh, concerns as well as their working conditions and to have that opportunity taken away from them by the union without a much better offer on the table. There's some very cross nurses. Yeah, which is fascinating. And so whilst the union is recommending acceptance, that is by no means a done deal. So where to from here? That's right. They are locked into what their members want. So as of tomorrow, members can vote on this offer. Uh, as I say, the ones I've spoken to are not happy with with it, so I'd be inclined to say a lot will be rejecting it if overwhelmingly they vote against the offer. Uh, that wraps up next Tuesday. Um, the following Thursday, that's when that second strike is planned to go ahead. It's all on. DHBs are putting their contingency plans in place now for all the disrupted surgeries and appointments, uh, but we won't find out till next Tuesday just how nurses have decided to go. Gosh, this is fascinating, isn't it? Uh, Nita Black person, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Once again, uh, neither the DHBs nor the union were uh, available to talk to us tonight. Our sense is that they don't want to get offside with their membership. The vote is taking place. Uh, the strike for this week is off, of course. The strike for next week, as it stands, is still on. But if the deal is accepted, that will go too.